So it looks like I made it back with plenty of time to spare. I just turned off of Highway 101 in Leggett, I think that's how you pronounce it, onto Highway 1. I believe this is the northernmost section of Highway 1 going out toward the coast now. I know that there are sections of Highway 1 that are closed due to some landslides from last year. I don't have enough cell signal to look up and see where they are. There was no sign at the turnoff, so I'm gonna go for it. Um, again, another twisty, windy road, um, but this time it's in good repair, so compared to yesterday, this is a total treat. I stopped along the ocean. I have Verizon and AT&T signal here, so I was able to check the road conditions. Highway 1 is actually open all the way to San Francisco and, and a little bit south of there. Highway 1 is definitely not easy driving. Uh, it's not boring. <laughs> I'm at a Vista Point that was created as part of a, a federal highway beautification project in the 70s. It's a nice trail down to the ocean and um, the surf's really high right now. Coming up to the Pomo Bluffs Park. At first I thought it was a statue because it was just standing still for so long and people were going by, but definitely not a statue. <laughs> Is it a new bird? God, that's a huge bird. me forever to get down the coast because I have to keep stopping for places like this. Good morning. I have made it all the way to Marin County on Highway 1. I stopped for a late breakfast, early lunch, overlooking the ocean. Highway 1 changes quite a bit when you get to Marin County. I did not realize that. I've been to Point Reyes from the east and from the south, but I've never been from the north before. I really, really like it here. Um, instead of being on the ocean, we're on an inlet and um, it's a very large inlet and so there's land on both sides of the water and then this just beautiful coastal areas um, with docks and things like that that you don't get on the ocean because of the waves. Well I ended up turning off for Point Reyes. Point Reyes National Seashore is one of the very first places that my girls and I went when we started homeschooling way back in the day. Our first visit out here, we went on this little hike. We ran into a ranger who was setting up a um, spider discovery hike. Coming into the visitor center, I've got my pass and my passport. I don't know if I need my pass or not, but brought it just in case. I just finished up at the visitor center here at Point Reyes National Seashore. Um, I stamp my book, watch the movie, like I always do. Instead of going through San Francisco and getting through as quickly as possible, I'm going to stay here at Point Reyes and explore. Um, I'm going to start out with the earthquake hike, just because that's a fun story and it's kind of cool if you haven't seen that before. And then I'm going to go down to the lighthouse and um, and there's a, he said that the seals and sea lions are pupping right now, so gonna try and check that out. It's supposed to be 100% rain by four o'clock, so I need to hurry a little bit. Um, also, he said that if I go down um, this one path not very far, um, I'll 
for sure see Tule Elk. I'm gonna see how much I can get done uh, today. So I'm heading to the earthquake hike. It's a fun story in that, um, see now if I remember correctly, um, there's a spot where the where the fence, has, where it shows how far the earth moved because there was a piece of fence that moved. And a cow ended up falling into the earth. It was right about here that when my oldest daughter was like six or seven, we ran into David. Don't remember if he was a volunteer or a ranger, but he was setting up for his spider hike. And we were just absolutely enthralled with the information that he had to share. And we ended up following him the whole rest of his little loop. And he showed us all the different spiders that we never see. This friendly little guy is right next to the fence that I want to show you. In the earthquake of 1906, this fence jumped 16 feet. And so here we are, we get up there, but right on the San Andreas Fault. So these blue posts show where the fault line is. I am standing right on the fault. It's like a 40 minute drive to the next spot, so I better hit the road. The road out here got to be something. Ended up being a one lane road through working cattle ranches. I had one point at which there were three cars trying to come toward me, so I pulled off as far as I could. And then as I'm waiting for them, a big old cow just comes and stands right in the road. <laughs> the volunteer at the visitor center said that uh, the females are having their pups pretty much just as soon as they reach the beach. He seemed to think that I would be able to see um, several of the females calving um, if I walk out here. So that's what I'm hoping for. Here we are at the beach where where they are um, landing and calving and just mostly beaching themselves. <laughs> um, a couple of the people coming out mentioned that, they, that there were five pups out here and then some adolescents that are, uh, that are fighting a little bit. Um, they said that the, the black, the, the pups are really, really black. So that was the elephant seals. That was kind of cool. It is 3.35 and I think I'm gonna try and catch some Thule elk. Um, it's quite a drive, but uh, it's worth, worth trying out anyway. On my way to going out to see the Thule elk, um, I round a bend and there they are on the top of a hill. I'm gonna still go see if I can see them closer. Um, but that was pretty awesome. They're pretty majestic. It's almost sunset, like 15 more minutes until sunset. I am almost to the elk area. I'm hoping that I don't have to give up and turn around. So I'm definitely gonna be driving back out um, after sunset. It doesn't get completely dark and right away. Um, the road's pretty bad, so. <laughs> Might be a little late getting here, but this is probably going to be a pretty cool place to watch the sunset from. 
so I don't know if it's gonna be a decent sunset. Um, the rain that they predicted hasn't started yet. There's been a few sprinkles, but nothing major. It was supposed to be thunder showers as well, um, but that hasn't materialized. This is a pretty crappy place to be in a thunderstorm. <laughs> Um, out on a bluff uh, surrounded by water is probably not the safest place to be um, in a thunderstorm. But it doesn't look like that's going to be happening. Okay, I just talked to a couple coming out and uh, they said that there are loads of elk out here. When I asked how far, they said not too far, about a mile. <laughs> So I don't know if I can get out there and back, um, but I'm going to try. I guess this is my day for sprint hiking. <laughs> Not sure I'm going to make it. I've actually been running a little bit, but I only have my red boots on. I don't really have good, you know, they're certainly not running shoes. <laughs> but as usual, I'm having a blast. Hey. The folks that I ran into on the trail said that there were a load of them in the First Valley, which is what I just came to. Oh, they're even running. I was gonna turn around here whether I saw them or not. So I'm really glad that I saw them. Oh, and it's getting really windy. also a really cool beach and I really like the erosion over here on this hill. What an amazing end to my day here at Point Reyes National Seashore getting to see those elk. I hope you enjoyed this glimpse into Point Reyes National Seashore. This is Joni with the Galavan. Enjoy your journey.